This video is from a current project that uses an accordion fold cover made from two sheets of cover stock paper. Once I finish assembling the wrapper, I will attach the printed sheets into the folds of the book. The cover is about 42 inches, or just over one meter in length. The wrapper is longer than the paper that I bought. In order to make the cover wrapper, I need to join two pieces of paper. The book has 10 panels. The front half has five panels, plus a short flap. The back half has five more panels, but does not need a flap. My goal is to make in the neighborhood of 50 of these. So I've set up this bar at the top of my work area and placed white tape and drew lines where I need to score the paper. I used a large triangle and a bone folder to score the paper using the lines on the tape as guides. Since the panel folds into two directions, the spacing of the folds is slightly different. These guides help me work more quickly and maintain accuracy. Once each section has been scored and folded, I need to attach a strip of dry mounting film on the flap so that I can bond the two sheets together. I use Fusion 4000 dry mounting film. It's a clear adhesive, it's pH neutral, and does not have any type of transfer paper. It's heat activated. It melts to the paper as it reaches 180 degrees Fahrenheit or about 90 degrees Celsius. The other item that you'll need is release paper. I bought these materials from Talus. You should check to see if your art supply store sells release paper in Fusion 4000 by the foot. My release paper is coated on both sides. However, this sheet is shinier on one side. I place the shiniest side on the surface that I'm working on. I use a dry mounting tacking iron. The heat is controlled by a temperature gauge. The mounting film melts when it reaches 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I set the temperature on my tacking iron at 200 Fahrenheit, 94 degrees Celsius. Be sure to avoid touching the dry mount film directly to the iron as the film will melt and you'll need to clean the face of the tacking iron. While the tacking iron is a dedicated tool for use with dry mounting materials, it does not do anything that a regular household iron can't do. It does have a numerical heat control dial and it has a unique shape. But you should be able to complete this task with a household iron. Just be sure not to use any steam if you use a clothes iron. As I start, I'll move the tacking iron off to the side of a metal box lid and place a piece of wood under it so the heat will not damage my cutting mat. I learned from experience that it can deform the mat. I will start by placing the release paper over the film that I placed on the accordion flap. The film has been cut the same width as the flap or slightly smaller. I'll apply light but steady pressure over the release paper for about two minutes. I'll fast forward here so the video is not too long. Before I attach the second sheet of paper, I make sure the folds are in the correct sequence for the second part of the wrapper. You can see that the hinge flap from the first section has adhesive film already melted to it. I will align the top of both sections. I don't worry that the bottom is not aligned in the book, as the book will need to be trimmed to size. Once I align the top, I'll cover the area with the same release paper. I place the tacking iron on the hinge area and begin to apply heat and keep the iron moving along the entire hinge area. It may take a full two minutes as the cover stock is thick and it will absorb some of the heat. Again, my iron is set to 200 degrees Fahrenheit or 95 degrees Celsius. Remember that the heat melts the film but the bonding does not happen until the film begins to cool. Therefore, don't check on anything by lifting up the edge of the paper. Since I'm applying heat just to paper, I don't worry about damaging anything. Heat may be harmful to some types of artwork, but here I'm simply using the film to attach two pieces of paper. 
I will move the tacking iron off to the side. After I lift away the release paper, I quickly place a cool weight on the area so that it can bond as it cools. I use a clean, flat piece of wood with white melamine that is room temperature. I'll keep the board on the paper for two minutes to let it cool. The two sheets have bonded and can be folded to make the accordion wrapper for the book. I will keep them all under pressure until I attach the printed sheets inside the folds of the book. This is the first stage of the assembly. I'll make another video on how I bond the printed sheets inside the folds. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions.